Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday to us all. We're now on episode 36 of the Rave Rovers. Say, I am always, uh, as always, I am Luke FM. Um, thank you. Welcome back. Um, where you left us off last, we, our form was a bit indifferent, really. We won two games, lost one, and drew one. So, yeah, we are currently six in the league, neck and neck with Dundee for points. So it's between us on and them and Motherwell. Obviously, we're playing Motherwell next as well. So if Motherwell win, they overtake us and they end up becoming 7th or 6th. So we really need to win this next game. Um, if we win this next game and Hibs somehow lose, uh, let's just check who Hibs are playing the last couple of games. So they're playing Hearts and Kilmarnock, so you never know. Uh, Hearts and Kilmarnock might do us a favour. So we could potentially... Be fifth if Hibs lose the next two games, but only if they lose the next two games. I don't think it's going to happen. And we've got to win the next two games. So we're aiming for six, basically. Um, but yeah, we managed to sign Maldini on a full contract. Um, I originally sold him for like... I signed him on a free, sold him 150k with us then basically having him on loan for the season for free. Um but it, I think it was just a no-brainer to sign him back. And uh, we signed him for £7 million, which in hindsight is probably... It's not as bad as Man United signing Paul Bogba. But uh, he's a good player, though. I think we'll make money on him if we sell him. But yeah, signed him for £7 million. So they've done well, that Russian team. I don't think it's... Um, I don't think you can see the... No, you can't. It's not... Like seven million all in one go. It's it's seven million spaced out basically, so it's not that bad. And like I said, I think we'll make money on him if we sell him. And he's been really good this season. Um, Gary Rue. Oh, he, play, he played for the Scottish Under Twenty Ones. He's played five times for them now. So yeah, so he's a very good. We've also signed this this guy here, midfielder, uh, Sofahani. Dejao. I should really, really only sign players I can pronounce their names. But yeah, we signed him. So yeah, I'm not really going out and spending loads of money on players, even though I've got the money. I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. So, we got any players in this one? No. I'm not going to go sign Wonder Kids on this say. That's not what this is about. Uh, let's just keep going through these. He'd be a good player. He'd actually be an upgrade on our goalkeeping. So, yep. We'll praise you again, Rui, for your training. Give you a little morale boost. Uh, I'm not tampering with that. Actually, yeah, because he's not been playing much lately, so... He is probably going to get transferred. He's probably going to be sold, I think. Which is a shame, really, because he was doing well at the start of the season. Similar to Thomas Ince, they both started the season really well and then kind of just crashed or better players come along. We'll add him. We'll add him. Uh, we'll add him as well. Just add loads of players in case they come available on free transfers. Uh, I do need to do this though first. Oh, that's no, right. Uh, right, there we go. Right. Let's see if we can sign Dewhurst. He's not being too greedy with his wage. That's good. He'd be a good goalkeeper for, for us to have to build for the future. We got him in goal. That's our goalkeeper sorted for the next like six or seven seasons, hopefully. Rue as right back will be unless we sell him, he'll be the right back for the for the like for the rest of the until he retires until he retires basically. Or until we sell him. Um because he's so good. I don't think we'll be able to keep him. I think he'll be sold to a big club, bigger club, probably sell to Rangers, no more. Strengthen my Competitors. 
Right then, we've got some debuts here. So, Castilla and goal. The defence is the same. Oh, we've got Salah and Adini as left back instead of... Um, I can't remember his name. And then we've got Rios and Ball in midfield. And we've got Palacios on the right making his debut. Maldini in the middle. Darigo on the left. And Hoyland up front. So, let's see what these South American players can do on a cold day in, in Motherwell. And we definitely need to win this game. So, they need to... They need to make an instant impression. They got a Castillo as well. They've got a Jesus Castillo. I think what's our player called? Oh, Yuan Diego. Both got a Castillo in the team. Oh, right. Hoyland's out. Uh, Uche. Well, that's not going to help, is it? Right, Maldini with the corner. Just over. Right, let's see if U Uche can uh, make a good impression. I hope he does because I hope he plays well because I want him to play well for my uh, Uganda national team when I when I start doing that Twitch save. Right, Motherwell with the corner. Lovely header out by us. Hopefully we'll get these games done, end of the season, done in this episode. Rios. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Uchi, not playing bloody rugby. That was a weird shot if I've ever seen one. Right, Maldini. Yes, get in. Go on, Dominic Ball. Ah, uh, Hibs have got a game in hands over us as well. I never, I never saw that. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get... Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We've all got to play the same amount of games, so we'll see at the end of the day. Hopefully, um, let's just check. Can we check the latest scores? There we go. Hibs even playing today. Hibs aren't playing today. Dundee are drawing, though, so that helps us. Uh, Ref over stats. There we go. Right, if we keep this win, uh, Dorigo, you're not playing well. Let's demand more off you. Uh, free kick to them. Good save by Castillo. Right, I think I think Dorigo is coming off. Deli Ali will be playing in that position. I trust him more than the other players I've got at the moment. Corner to us. Can we extend our lead? Palacios runs past with ease. Look at that. That's a, that's how you make an impression. Dorigo take notes. What a goal by him. Palacios with a debut goal. Right, we've got another free kick. Warner. Rios, back to Warner. I don't mind this, this patient approach when we're 2-0 up. I'm happy with that. Maldini. Let's get possession back. There we go. Oh, no. Oh dear. Oh, they should have done better than that. Thank God they didn't. Right, Dominic Ball. Oh, we can't, we can't take more players off now. That's fine. Let's see this game out now. We can't afford to concede at this point. Especially if it goes down to goal difference. Right, throwing. Maldini, ah, uh -huh. come on, we're getting sloppy now. Great, them. There you go. Give them a telling off. That's why we give them a telling. Lyndon Dykes, how many goals he got for uh, Motherwell? We were going to sign him. First, first proper goal.
Uh, I hope this doesn't end the draw. That's it. Go on, Maldini. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to go on a run then. Dabo. Dabo, this is why you don't play anymore. Stupid passes like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oof, thank God for that. Come on, let's just get this game done now. Right, Dabo. Oh, Uchi gets fouled. He's injured. Delhi with the shot gets saved by the goalkeeper. Oh, Dabo's not injured. He looked like he was injured. That's it, Manchin, uh, Man Maldini. Take your time. That's it, you take your time, you beautiful man. Can we get another goal? No, we can't. There we go. End of the game now. Come on. End this game. Come on, let's just end it now. Throw into us. That's it, Adini. You take your time. There we go. <laughs> You'd love to see it. Bit of shit out through there, by us. But yeah, good result. Hoyland's out for three months. So I'll see him out for the rest of the season. Um, luckily, we haven't got many games left. We've only got one game left, I think. Yeah, one game left, Rangers. So uh, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Right, we're back for the uh, basically the last game of the season, I think. I could be wrong. Right, we've had a decent offer for Danda. We'll get rid of him. Just working out for it. Uh, Dorigo didn't have the best of debuts, and now he's out for the rest of the season. Uh, he's very good, but I feel like that's a wonder kid in it, and I don't really want to. Let's have a look. Is he? Is he got? As he says, wonder kid on here. Could be the next uh, Rudam or Falco. I just feel like it's it's just unrealistic, so we just won't sign him. All right, I have another offer, and uh, accept that. Right, uh, sorry. Right. Uh, he does have a business being translated because he's 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 not been very good for us. Oh, we have had offer for uh, Admiral, so that's good. Just offer him out again. The more offers we get, the better, because usually if you only get one offer, the player will just reject it out of spite. What was this honeymoon? Okay, fair enough. Yep, another good offer for Danda. It will be sad when Danda and Muskwe go, but you know you can't get too sentimental with players at times. I mean, you know, I'm not getting rid of Lewis Vaughan. I'll just let his contract expire. Um, I haven't got it in me to sell him. Hopefully, you never know, I might be able to convince him to stay on as a backup option eventually. So I want, him, I want to bring him back to the club at some point as a coach or an assistant manager. I don't know what he wants to do when he retires. Let's have a look. Let's see what he wants to do. Actually, if he just if he isn't going to stay in football when he retires, then there's no point keeping him. Really, is there? Happiness is it under happiness? Yeah. Long term plans, nothing. So yeah. He's just unhappy that he's not playing, and also, like I said. He's, he'll always be a legend at the club. Um, but yeah, his time here is coming to an end, I think. But then again, I'll say that. He's played, he scored four goals in four games he's played in the league. I know obviously 13 appearances as well. So he's still making an impact when he's coming on. Um, I'm not having I don't like Ennis. I don't think he's good enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put Lewis Vaughan up front. And we'll play him as a deep line forward in the position that he wants to play. 
to make him happy. There we go. Oh no, it needs to be attack, not support. There we go. Right, I need to remember to change that back to pressing forward afterwards. Okay. Um, right, so this is the lineup for Rangers, last game of the season. Um, we're not expected to win. They are champions, basically. So, yeah, Diarte's back in as left back. Um, Rosler's in the centre defence. And then, other than that, it's back. Middleton. Middleton's in for Durango. And then Vaughan's up front. So, let's see how we get on. Lewis Vaughan's not expected to play the whole game because he's not played much. So, what I might do is put Delhi Alley up front for the. The rest of the game with Delhi. Yeah, Delhi is a sub, so yeah. So we got options. I trust Lewis Vaughan and Delhi Alley up front, even though you know it's not their natural positions more than I trust um Yuchi at the moment or the other striker that was Ennis, whatever his name is. Right, there, free kick. Yep, one nil. Like I said, I'm expecting them to absolutely thrash us in this game. I'm just hoping we do enough. No, we're seventh. Uh, we need Dundee. Let's let's do latest scores so we can see what's going on. Yeah, Dundee are winning. We need Livingston to do us a favour, but Livingston are bloody bottom. We've got no chance. Uh, we're going to end seventh, aren't we? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Overall, though, it's not too bad, is it? Considering it's our first season in the Scottish Premiership. But yeah, we could do with Livingston doing us a favour. Even if they draw the game, I think that still means we're six. Oh, that was a beautiful ball. They've got a ridiculous player in in him. Signed for uh, Spurs, any? he? Yeah, he's, he's way too good for the Scottish Premiership, in my opinion. I feel like that's cheating. I mean, we've done well. We've, got, we've had two shots on target, five. We're doing... We've got a better XG than them. But they're just a dominant team. I think they, they know what they're doing here. I think they've got the goal and now they're just going to try and slowly build up. Oh, we've got it though. Go on, beautiful ball. Go on, Maldini. Oh, Maldini should have hit his first time, I think. Oh, 1-1. One, one. That's good. Come on, Livingston, do us a favour. Oh, 2 1, Livingston, get in. Go on, Livingston. That works in our favour. Livingston doing us a massive favour, considering they're bottom, they've got nothing to play for. Go on, if we get our draw out of this, even if they, even if uh, Dundee draw was still sick, so come on, let's get a. We're not going to do... Oh, my God, that would have been a great own goal then if that went in. Yeah, Livingston's still 2-1. That's fine. I think we're 6. I'm hoping we're 6. Yes, we are. Get in. Not a bad season. Not a bad season at all. Oh, okay. So the Premiership season... So basically, I, I, I knew it was something like this, but it's been a while since I've done a Scottish Premiership, so... So, at the uh, as the first cinch championship, sorry, let me just start again. As the first cinch premiership stage draws to a close, the league is now ready to split into two. The top six, ah, there we go. So I'm in the top six. Ah, oh, so I might have a chance of getting European places. I completely forgot about this. We were very lucky to get that sixth place. Then we are playing the big teams, though. Oh, we're definitely signing you. You're a good player. Uh, the rest aren't much cop. So actually, the season doesn't end here. So on that note, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. And we're back. I holidayed because we had we didn't have a game for like 13 days. So I just thought I'd holiday. Uh, we're just going through all these now. Uh, they want us to make Ross Matthews captain. No, I won't be doing that. Uh, probably a good player to add, I think. Him as well. 
No, I don't want to, I don't want a massive short list because it'll slow the game down. Right, Dander's gone. He's going to Dundee United. Bowler's back from injury. musgree has gone to Ross County. Nice to see him staying in the Scottish Premiership. It'd be nice to see him when they come back to play against us. Hopefully they won't do too well against us. Uh, I don't understand why this is happening here. Um, bear with us two seconds. I'll go through these first. All right, Rue's out for a few days. Uh... John Fleck, I need to release you. Right. Yep. We'll miss you, Fleck. But, yeah, we have better players now. Yeah, it wasn't even worth keeping you on as a, uh, a coach or anything. Right, Let's see what we can do here. Okay, let's check these. No, um, what was I going to check now? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, that was it. I need to check my staff responsibilities to make sure that the. Yep, so this is. Ah, uh, there we go. Just quickly check these. Yep. Uh, just to make sure that, that we're getting the best people giving us the advice that we want. Uh, him? Yeah, probably. Right, so confirm that. Scout in. Just click that. Yeah, transfers seem okay for what I want. Uh, scout in. Oh, we were doing the scouting, sorry. Media. Training. I think it's training that's a bit iffy. It's telling me, like, suggesting individual. Ah, that's what it is. Right, so that's that sorted. Tactics is okay. Match. Double check this. Yep, everything seems fine on there. Uh, set pieces. Yep, so that's fine. Right, sorted. Sorry about that. I'm just wondering why all of a sudden it was uh, giving me advice on training and stuff. Because I don't deal with that. I'll let the assistant manager deal with that. Promise reminders. Right, so we could probably do with getting rid of you, I think. Uh, we'll keep you for now. You only, you only joined in January, I think. Right, here we go. So we've got usual... Back line, usual midfield, two, uh, and then, yeah, Garrigo's goes back in. I do not want Ellis up front. So I'm going to put Deli Alley. I'm going to put Deli Alley up front today. Um, I need to change. I forgot I need to change Deli Alley's role back to a pressing forward. Support, I think. Yeah. Uh, right, let's put this back to how it was before. There we go. So, yeah, so we're, we're highly unlikely to get in the European places here. I think you need to get in the top four to get European places. I can't imagine six teams in Scotland get European football. Uh, 
we got to we got to be looking. We've got to go on a bit of a winning streak. I think we're twelve points behind Hearts. We got we got to make sure we got to make sure we beat Hearts in this game. Um, but we got we got to make sure that I mean Hearts have got to lose every game basically. and We've got to win every game. In fact, let me have a look at the fixtures. Where are you? There we are. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we ain't we ain't gonna we ain't gonna do it. We'll just try and do the best we can. Get in, look at that for a bullet header by Warner. That's how we do it. One nil to us. Just demand a bit more from the players. Right, Dorigo's knackered. Put on Middleton. Rui's tired. So we'll put on. Put to put Salah on. Uh, good save. I was worried then. Right, Palacios is knackered. Put Joseph on. Uh. Oh, we can't put any more players and take any more players on. Good. I'm happy with that. Let's just close the game down now. Alright, I'm giving Maldini and Deli Ali Italian off. Hopefully that will help. Let's not concede. No. Good. That's fine. Oh, not long left now. Come on, let's see this game out. Good. Good little 1 0 victory there. So, it's a good way to. End this episode so yeah so that's the end of the episode i'll be back tomorrow with the next part where we'll play the rest of the games we've got four games left so i'll probably do an episode where we just play all them four games so this episode might be a little bit short than usual but the other one will be a little bit long to make up for it so yeah so hopefully my internet issues will be sorted by tomorrow uh, by wednesday and i'll i'll be back soon all right i'll be back tomorrow cheers bye